Okay, how did Brobridge become the crawfish capital of the world? Because of this lady and this man and this governor. Annabelle Dupuy Hoffman told State Representative Bob Angel, Hey, Brobridge is going to be celebrating its 100th year of incorporation in 1959. It wasn't really the founding of the town. The town was founded in 1799 when Furman Bro installed a bridge over Bayou Teche, but that's another story. Bob Angel was Brobridge's state representative and, more importantly, was Speaker of the House. That was a gross affair. Bob Angel went to the state legislature and said, Hey, y'all, Brobridge is 100 years old. Let's make Brobridge the proper capital of the world. May okay? And they passed the resolution. Bob Angel and some big shots from Brobridge took the resolution to Governor Earl K. Long and said, Governor, you mind signing this paper? Uncle Earl said, Sure, and don't forget to vote for me. So the folks of Brobridge had a big party. They had a beard growing contest because the men of 1859 all wore beards. They had a mass. They had cooking contests, a ball, a parade, a fait de do and lots and lots and lots of crawfish. And it's all because Annabelle Dupuy Hoffman was good at remembering important dates. This story and other amazing crawfish tales are found in Louisiana Crawfish, a succulent history of the Cajun crustacean by Sam Irwin. The book can be bought at the better bookstores and bait shops and online retailers too.